Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a part 2 video of, of the user registration in MVC. In part 1, I have showed how to create the user registration form with validation controls using data annotations. Now in this part 2, I will show you how to insert the records into a database table. And here we got the output. Now I'm entering the details. Charan, age 28. Charan at gmail.com. I'm selecting male gender. I'm accepting the terms and conditions. Click registration. the message user record inserted successfully let's check in the database table this challenge record is inserted or not the username challenge is inserted in this table or not I'm executing and see here we got the username challenge is inserted successfully before writing the coding part in MVC First, we'll create a table in the SQL Server database. I'm expanding the databases, and sample DB is my user database, and I'm creating a table in sample DB. Right-click the database, new query, create table dbo dot user. Rich is my table name and the column names are let's close this user id integer data type identity the identity the first one is a starting value starts with the one and increment by one value it's a primary key username and varchar 50 and the third column is the age which is int email and varchar 100 user password and varchar 100 let's copy this one user re password gender cat that's it let's execute command completed successfully let's expand the sample db the tables refresh the table and here we got dbo.user is table Let's browse the table. Select top thousand rows. At this moment, this user reach new table contains zero rows. Now let's switch over to the MVC project. We'll insert the values into this user reach table. Go to controller, validate controller. First thing I am importing the namespaces using system.data using system.configuration using system.data.sql client After adding the namespaces, now I required the data source connection string of the table user reg. Go to server explorer, right click the data connections, add connection. The server name is database name 
sample db test connection ok click ok and notice in the server explorer under data connections we got the sql express sample db dot db go just right click that one go to properties in properties under connection the first one is a connection string just copy this data source go to solution explorer come to the bottom the web.config file open that one and notice here we got the connection string but the connection string attribute here just delete this one paste this one the connection string name is a default connection that's it again switch back to the validate controller string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is default connection add dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter main con SQL con dot open method SQL query is equals to string this is the SQL query is the insert statement insert into the table name is dbo dot user reg copy that one paste here and the column names and the column names are from username to gender copy this one because the user ID is auto gendered I'm not including the insert statement paste here values at username at age at email at user password at user read password at the last one is a gender SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is this SQL query the second parameter is the SQL connection SQL con what I'll do is I will open this connection string yeah SQL command dot parameters dot add with the value between double quotes I'm adding the username and the object value is VC dot username let's copy this one age vc dot h email dot email user password 
crazy dot password copy this and the last one for the gender user read password read password and the last one is a gender dot gender SQL command dot execute non query and here after adding the record successfully into my database table I want to display the message on the browser for that I'm using view data between double quotes I'm adding message is equals to user record insert term successfully semicolon the last one let's close the SQL connection string that close method to display this message on the browser we need to add the view data message let's copy this one go to index.cshtml come to bottom here after div at HTML dot view data message and this one I want to put in the h1 tags copy here and paste that's it let's insert the records in a table Google Chrome and here we got the output now so I'm entering the details. Charan, age 28. Charan at gmail.com. I'm selecting male gender. I'm accepting the terms and conditions. Click registration. the message user record inserted successfully let's check in the database table this challenge record is inserted or not the username challenge is inserted in this table or not I'm executing and see here we got the username challenge is inserted successfully that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos